All right, guys, so today we're at the range. See what we can do, huh? What the crap, man? I didn't hit anything. Hey, stupid, if you want to hit the target, you got to get one of these fancy grips like here, you say. Watch this. Told you so. What? Where do you get one of those? After seeing that redneck at the range, I knew I had to get myself a foregrip. First, I looked online. All I found was overpriced pieces of plastic. Then, I decided to look locally. Only found more overpriced pieces of plastic. So I decided, I must make this myself. So I hopped on Inventor and started modeling up a foregrip. I just put down a rough shape from what I've seen online of what they have. And then I put in some grip on the bottom, and then I started making a mounting system to put on my M-Lock rail that I have on my gun, and that's about it. All right, so before we can get to the printer, we need to slice it in Kira. So we're just going to grab that file real quick, and uh, how I printed it was I laid this edge down flat here, centered it up, um, I just had I just kind of use the same settings that I used to print out the lower. I just sped it up a little bit. Uh, I don't have any support material on here, so we'll go ahead and slice that. And let's preview it real quick. So as you can see, I've got no uh, support material. Didn't seem to cause any problems. Print turned out great. Everything worked. Everything fit. All right. So after multiple hours on the printer and multiple revisions, we finally have a finished product in this. But it did not start here at first. I had this atrocious piece of poop, and it's horrible. Nothing worked on it. So then I went to this, which was almost perfect, honestly. There was very little that I didn't like about it, so I just changed a couple things. And then we got this, and as you can see, they're very, how do I hold this? They're very similar. This one is just slightly bigger, the final one. It is just, very slightly longer there on the back and has a little steeper of an angle just feels better in my hand but if you had a slightly smaller hand i think this one would work just as well also from the first one made this one way too thin way too small had the finger grip way too small and way too far forward this one was just bad super surprised how the second one turned out honestly um for the locking system for the way to get it mounted onto the gun i have Sort of like a Picatinny, I've got the M-Lock system on here, so I don't need the Picatinny, like, screw and attachments or whatever. I can actually just bolt it in straight to the firearm uh, through here. And I got some bolt holes going here and here. And on this one, I did put a hole all the way through so that you can bring your Allen wrench through so you can actually screw it in. On the second one, I did not have that. It was a pain in the ass. Learned my lesson very quickly with that. So, this one's got a hole through it. M-Lock mounting system. Uh, now let's see how it looks on the actual firearm. All right, so here it is actually on the firearm. I don't know, I don't think it looks that bad. All things considering that it's like a 3D printed part. Um, it feels and fits really nice, surprisingly, for three hours I spent on it and the two dollars that I spent in plastic to make it, I'm pretty pleased with it. All right, so here's a more detailed look at the grip on the firearm with the other revisions in it. As you can see, that one is super small. That one is a lot more like the final rev, um, just some small changes. There you can see it's quite a little bit bigger. I've just got that front tongue out front so that I could mount it into that M-lock hole um, I don't necessarily love how much it just shoots straight down, but it works. So I suppose we should go see if it actually works and helps me out. All right, so we're out here on the range with the new foregrip that we 3D printed. We're going to see if it makes a difference, if it helps, how strong it is. We're going to just test it out. Uh, first thing I'm going to do, I've got 
five targets down there. I'm just gonna go left to right, two shots at each target, see what kind of grouping I can get, see how fast I can go through all of them, and see if it makes an improvement. All right, so first up we got the four grip walkthrough here. Just gonna shoot two at each target, try to get through one through five as fast as I can. Okay, now we're gonna take a closer look at where I hit these targets now. I'm no Navy SEAL, so I was just trying to hit the, you know, the black circle, which on the first one, I got those two right there. Uh, moving on to the second one, somehow closer and more to the center, not sure how that works. Uh, third one, I got away from you a little bit. That one did make it out of the black circle. On to the fourth one here, we've got that one, which is really close to the center, and then this one that drops damn near out of the black, but right on the edge. And then last but not least, we've got these two still in the circle. So I'm pleased with those results. All right, so now we're gonna run the same drill with no angled foregrip on here. We're gonna see if it changes anything, if anything's different. Found the targets, I marked where the first two shots were with the grip on. So we're gonna see if I can go any faster with the grip or get any closer or anything like that. We're just gonna see what the differences are here. So I'm just gonna run the same drill, no grip. Okay, now we're gonna see where those shots ended up. Uh, first target here. We have one that landed right on top of the first one. Uh, another one closer than with the foregrip. So that grouping was tighter. Still ended up in the black, so. Onto the second one. We've got a way outlier over here. And then the other shot was over here. Huge separation there, but both in the black, close to the center. Uh, over here, got both of them right here. Close enough gap, still black, still good. Over here, damn near identical, just raised up somehow. Here's the second one without the foregrip. Here's the one with the foregrip. Kind of weird. Over here, I believe it's these two right here. Yeah, it's these two right here. All right, so now we've got our second test. I'm gonna dump 10 rounds into a target and see the grouping, where it stays, how hard it is to keep it there, stuff like that. All right, so on the left here, we have the non-foregrip, where it's just the you know, regular guard on there, and I'm just holding it by hand. Um, not a bad spread, all things considered. It's in the black, that's a kill, whatever. Over here, we have it with the foregrip on there. Uh, same, not bad, grouping, probably slightly tighter, more towards the center, I'd say. Um, but holy shit was this one faster, way faster, at least it felt that way. It felt like it was bouncing around a lot less. So that was nice. I suppose we don't need these first two, uh, revisions anymore. So I've got a creative way to get rid of them. And here is what's left of them. That was the first one. I'm not sure how to piece that one back together. Uh, the second one, I think I just nicked it on the side and it broke in two. So. Thanks for watching.